former U.S. champion, also a gold medalist as well in the Olympics, and showing that he can hang with the best of them, Sam. This was simply a great tournament for you. You beat up on what you beat up on uh, two, two stars of the game. You sacked a queen on Naka. You sacked a queen on Wesley. You drew Fabi. You must be really happy with the kind of tournament you played. Yeah, I sort of have mixed feelings because I believe I could have won this tournament if I played a little better at a couple of critical moments, but also like I was basically one of the lower rated players and it doesn't play to my strengths in terms of both the time control and the Fisher random element. So to like make a really a big score is completely unexpected. I never would have guessed I would have scored like this. So there's both positive and negative, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be wondering about the, the things that came, particularly the one that bugs me the most is that I saw the winning move against Mama Jarv right after I moved. But well, we Sam, I gotta say, a lot of players might say, yeah, I could have won this tournament if only I'd found a couple of moves at the critical moments, but you got it done overall with with simply cannot be anything but a great result. Yeah, no, certainly overall I'm very satisfied. You know, whenever you just barely miss winning a tournament, the the first feeling is, well, what could I have done better? But uh, of course, on the whole, it was it was a fine, it was a very good result. Uh, I don't know the one. I mean, it was it felt like a weird tournament because I almost felt like I only played five games. Uh, the the two with Wesley and Hikaru were just, and uh, that I won just very easily without any kind of a fight. And then I also lay down without any kind of a fight against uh, Maxime and Gary. So all those games were like decided by move 10 and it, it didn't even feel like I played them honestly. So it just sort of felt like you just get, you know, four, ha four buys to make, you know, two out of four and then play five real games. But it was funny, the, the, the last five games, I really got to play a lot of chess, which was a lot of fun. You mentioned before that you don't feel like it's natural for you to play rapid chess, uh, that you're not as talented maybe, more you're the hard worker. Yeah. But we saw a lot of spectacular chess from you here. Well, I think as you make the time control faster, it does sort of tilt the balance in favor of uh, those, the more talented in terms of hard work. But I still think rapid is not that fast. I mean, there's a 10 second increment, or I don't know how, what the increment was here, but it, there was enough. Five I mean, seconds, it was five. Yeah, it's only really when it gets to blitz that it really starts to tilt heavily. I mean, here it tilts a little bit, but I also think here the randomness factor is enormous just because of the Fisher random. But for example, one thing I was noticing was uh, I was scoring really well in positions where the pieces were coordinating reasonably well in the beginning of the game. Uh, and where the piece, the positions where like it was really looking ridiculous was where these guys were just out playing me. Uh, so, but yeah, uh, the, the one that, would, that bothers me though is the Mama Jarov one where I, I missed the win and then I saw it right after I moved. Of course I had like 15 seconds, so, but right after I moved I saw it. Trust me, nobody's gonna remember that one. Yeah. We will remember this one. This was sweet, queen takes on e5. This one, is it going down in your combination book yeah, later somewhere in your it's life? it's a little, I mean, it's, it's very easy. It's just also very aesthetically pleasing, of course. This is not, this one was not rocket science. If you give this to someone in, in Puzzle Rush, they'll see it. It's just a candidate move and the game's over. But it definitely was very aesthetically pleasing. I was happy about that. I, I might not have won a brilliancy prize with this, but I may win the beauty prize, so. It definitely was know. beautiful. Congratulations on a great result. We look to see you do some more I damage asked, in Rapid. Uh, this last game against Caruana, who was winning, who missed more wins, me or him? Because I'm pretty anybody, sure we both missed a lot. I think he was better, but I don't know that it was so easy. Because I felt like at some point I was busted, and then I, I thought at the end I should have won. So was I wrong about both of those? I don't, I don't see, I don't remember the, the engine giving any advantage uh, at the end for either of you. Oh, okay, so I didn't have yeah. anything at the end then, but... Uh, but I, yeah. we, were, we were paying attention to too much stuff to, okay. yeah, to be no, able to track. Fine. So, yeah, but the engine doesn't say anything yeah, like more here than after plus, the king got to d5, he's like stalemated. I thought I was winning, but... Oh, maybe some knight d5, knight d4, but it's... Knight d5, knight d3, that's it. Well, it's, it's Even minus one, one so <laughs> still Even far from that, yeah. Easy. No, but will, an amazing... Oh, it, will get to queen. it will get to queen against rook, knight, and two pawns. Yeah, I think you're judging or... yourself a little harshly. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Anyhow, it's, it's all good. Um, yeah, but uh, no, this was a great event, so I certainly, I'm glad I proved that I could play with these guys at, uh, in a format that I wouldn't think normally suits me. I'm, I'm certainly happy with the result overall, even if a little disappointed that I couldn't win it in the end. All right. And congrats to Linear. Absolutely. Well, thank Keep you, Sam. That was, in my opinion, that was an amazing tournament by Sam. I know he's very hard with himself, and it's one of the...